There we go. There goes the train ride. Are you ready? Are you excited? Hi, Finn. Here we go. All right, everyone, again, good afternoon, and welcome to the Cape Tafara Express. What do you think? My name is Hannah, and I will be your train conductor yeah, today. How's everyone feeling this afternoon? Yay! Yeah. All righty, good to hear. So I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about Bavar Zoo to tell you guys or to start up our train ride. Now, our mission statement is that we share our joy of nature to help wildlife and people thrive. And a way we do this is actually the proceeds from your admission you. and our membership to our zoo. Goes towards like our different conservation like efforts around the, the globe, and much like our giraffe conservation in Africa, our jaguar conservation in South and Central America, and, and even our scrub jay beach mice and sea turtle efforts right here in Bavaria County, Florida. Where's the birdies? Now coming up on our right, you guys will notice a building that not many people come to the zoo to see. It is our maintenance department. Now there is nothing that those guys haven't planted, painted, built or even torn down here at the zoo. So we like to show our appreciation of those guys for always working so hard for us. And then off to our left, you guys will hear them before you see them. This is our free flight aviary, and I will talk more about these guys on our return trip. Ding, 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 ding. Yes, yes. Ding, 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 ding. Now also coming up, we are approaching the tunnel that does lead us to the open animal yard. So at this time, just as a reminder, please remain seated and keep your hands and feet inside the train. Now as we enter inside the tunnel, if you guys want to take a look to your left, you might notice three large white eggs on the ground. Now try to remember these eggs and get a pretty good look at them, because on the return trip, I will be asking who you think laid those. Now as we enter our animal yard, the first animal I'd like to talk about is off to your left hand side. Now this is Frankie and he is our dromedary camel. And the guy, he might, he might be Look unlike the, the other camel. camels you guys might see in the movies that have two humps. Because he is a different species. Those camels you guys see in the movies are back train camels. Now the way you guys can remember this is that D for dromedary means they have the one hump, and then back train for B means they have the two humps, kind of like the letters in a sense. Now also coming up on our right, or you guys are going to see our male dominant bongo. Now this is Sebastian, and you guys might notice he does only have one horn. Look, 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 look. Now this guy, when he was young, the reason they had to cut off the horn is because it was growing the opposite direction. Those guys have spiraled horns, so just for his health, we decided to cut it off. But those horns are made up of keratin, just like our own fingernails and hair. So it's essentially the same as cutting off our own fingernail for those guys. And then also coming up, you guys will get a backstage view of our construction area right now, on our left. Now this is partially our Africa loop. So you guys will get to see part of the rhino habitat and the giraffe yard and the working of our new lion habitat as well. And then off to our right hand side, we have our scimitar horned oryxes. Now these guys are a desert antelope, and they do have a pretty cool adaptation to where they can change their internal body temperature. Now these guys can live up to 117 degrees. And the reason those guys got their name is because of those horns that they have, as their horns look much like a scimitar sword. And then coming up, these guys will be on our left-hand side, around the corner. But we are going to see our Watusi cattle brothers. Now these guys are pretty massive. And whenever you see them, you might wonder, how are they holding such heavy horns on their head? Now those horns that you are about to see are actually hollow on the inside. And it holds a honeycomb-like material, which is used for them to actually control their temperature in their body. So just like that works, those look, guys look, look. can live up to 120 Sit. degrees. Look, come here. And what they do with their horns is they circulate their blood through them and either cool it down or warm it up. So that way they can live up to 120 or 20 degrees. And then right behind those guys are some of our male impalas off in the distance. Oh no! Now male impalas are the ones with the horns because they are the ones that protect the herd. Those guys are known to be the fast food of the wild in Africa. 
but that does not make them completely defenseless, as they do have a lot of predators. Because those guys can leap up to 33 feet, or even jump as high as up to 10 feet in the air. If you guys take a look to your right, you will notice two of our zebras. The one eating underneath that trough, I would like to mention that those male impalas can actually jump over that trough effortlessly. So that just gives you guys an idea about how high those guys can actually jump. Now our zebras here, I believe this is Iggy and Ziggy if I'm looking correctly. Now our grubby zebra family are known to be the imperial zebras. And that just means 